half to the one power, in this case x was just one. And what's the chance of a tail? Because you also got to make sure you figure out the chance of the tail's coming up. So the chance of the tail is one minus p. Now how many tails are there? And minus x. So that's it. That's your 25 point formula on the test. Let's now apply the formula in the next few examples. And that's it. This is a binomial formula. And hopefully now, you, if I just put this down to start with, I don't think too many of you would understand where it came from. And it's really not an education. Well, if you see this whole development, maybe you don't all understand it, but you understand some part of it. Now it makes some sense to you. Now, let's apply the formula. Well, first of all, let's apply it back to our original problem. What's the chance of getting exactly one head when you're flipping three coins, where the chance is 50, 50 heads and tails? Well, according to the formula, there'll be three choose one, because there are three coins, one is a head. The chance of a head is a half to the one power. The chance of a tail is one minus a half. 3 minus 1 power. We had that back where we started, the same exact expression, which you, which you should take the time to learn to do the combinations and to make sure you can hand, hand, handle exponents and fractions. It's going to come out to 3 out of 8. And of course, you should verify that to make sure that you understand it. But we can now solve all kinds of problems. For example, we can solve the problem that you're going to see for the Smitter assignment, which I'm going to maybe talk about later today. We are flipping four coins. So let's do the problem. We're flipping four coins. So the number of coins is 4. The chance of a head will still be a half, or 0.5 if you want to change it to a decimal for some reason. And this time, the chance of getting flipping 4 coins, you really want to fill in this following chart, because now you get as many as 4 out of 4 heads. What's the chance, for example, of getting 3 heads? Let's focus on this one over here. Well, if there are 4 coins, and we're looking for x equals 3, the formula is going to say it's going to be 4 choose 3. 0.5 or a half to the third power, because remember it's going to the x power, the heads times heads times heads. And how many, what's the chance of a tail? One minus a half, which is also a half by the way. And how many tails are there? Well, if there are four coins and one of them is a head, you gotta be exactly, I'm oh, sorry, one of the three of them is a head, you gotta be exactly one head, one tail. So how much, is, can anybody do four choose three in their head? How much is four choose three Without, and of course, if you plug it into the factorials, you should get the answer after about 30 seconds. But without anybody doing the head. Well, the answer is, how much is four choose one in your head? You have four people on a committee, you're choosing one of them to be a subcommittee. How, how, many, how many ways you can do that? How much is four choose one quickly? Four. Four. A by himself, B by himself, C by himself, D by himself. Okay, so four choose one is four. Now, when you choose one person, how many people are left over? Three, three are left over. So when you choose one person, you're creating another committee of size three like a shadow committee, for the people who are not chosen. So four choose one should equal to four choose three by common sense and by the actual reality. So four choose three you can do in your head by realizing four choose one you can do in your head. So what's the answer? This comes out to four. How much is 0.5 to the third power? Well, it's a half times a half times a half, which is an eighth. And how much is 0.5 to the one power? Well, somebody give me the final answer. What's the final answer? You guys, yes, what? Four out of? 16, which is 25%. So when you do the other part of this bit of assignment that I assigned to the class the other day, which is to take 8,000 of these things, you should see that the three shows up very close to 25% of the time, which would be a good way of verifying that the formula is actually true. 